A federal judge demanding big changes in how Arizona's prison system provides health care to inmates. This is part of a decades old lawsuit in which the judge found the state violated inmates rights to health care for years. Team 12's Erica Stapleton is looking into some of the changes the judge hopes to see. And Erica, what's likely to happen here? Hey guys, well, the proposed changes range from keeping jail cells free of mildew to mandating health care staff have qualifications to do their jobs. Many of these changes are required to happen in a few months time. And as of right now, the department is currently without a director. A win for the ACLU. I think it is going to be literally life saving. Fighting in federal court since 2012, claiming Arizona has failed to provide proper medical and mental health care to inmates. Last year, a judge found Arizona's Department of Corrections, Rehabilitation and Reentry failed to meet health care requirements for inmates for years despite a court order. On Monday, Judge Rosalind Silver issued a new order highlighting changes the department would need to make. The order includes a long list of requirements, including increased health care staffing with qualified workers and better monitoring for inmates on suicide watch. Prisons and providers must also submit data to the court so it can be monitored regularly and determined if they're following the rules. So the court has very broad power to, uh, to remedy those violations. David Fonti has been fighting the case with the ACLU's prison project. Judge Silver found massive system-wide violations in the Arizona prisons. As she put it, no prisoner at any location is safe. The state and ACLU originally entered into a settlement in 2014, where the state promised to make changes, but ultimately kept missing benchmarks. In 2021, the case went to trial. During the trial, former prison director David Shin took the stand and claimed access to health care in state prisons was better than in the community, a claim Judge Silver found to be, quote, detached from reality. Shin resigned in early January, and Governor Katie Hobbs hasn't appointed a new director yet. On Tuesday, Governor Hobbs issued a statement on the order, calling the state's prison system, quote, broken, saying in part that her administration is committed to ensuring prisons operate within constitutional requirements. The Corrections Department did not respond to a request for comment. This order is not final, at least not yet. The judge is giving each side 30 days to file objections before the final order is issued. Erica Stapleton, 12 News. Okay.